I bet you the people don't know your middle name. <laughs> I bet you they don't. I bet they don't. All right. I want to see if you know Pastor Christie's middle name. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So, but if you know it, how would they know that? They might if they go to the church or they've been around. See, Ashley, Ashley knows. Says she knows it. We'll and see. so there you go. So if you know Pastor Christie's middle name, would you shout it out in the comments? I'm gonna send you a five dollar gift card if you got it. I'll get it to you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, do it. All right. It is. All right. You got it. All right. We'll be right back. What's up, everybody? Welcome today to Coffee and Confessions on this beautiful Tuesday. Tuesday,、right? yep. Week's moving along, doing good, man. We're so glad you are here.、Um, it's going to be a good time together. It's the C2 family, right? Coffee、that's、and、right. Confessions. Wait, C2. That's the way we do it. This way, because it doesn't look like it. Anyways, wait. We here whatever at Coffee and Confessions. What we do? We drink some coffee. That's right. And then we confess the Word of God. Over your day, so just a moment. We're going to share with you a、uh, little Bible study today. We're talking about angels, which is awesome.、Mm. And、uh, but before we do that, we'd love for you to like, subscribe, and, and comment or, below. Yeah, man, just shout us out. Let us know what's going on. Let us know and subscribe. If you are not a subscriber yet, we're going to welcome all of our new family、yeah. today. So if you、Every、have、week. not, if you watch us and you have not yet subscribed, we encourage you to, to subscribe and become a new family member. Yeah, we got new ones. Get out of my mouth.、Subscribe. No, you did great. We've got.、So Sub- subscribe, subscribe, sibilance, <laughs> sibilance. <laughs> Why is that word funny? I don't even know what it means, but it's the it's the insider way of checking likes. Anyways,、uh, check it out, Chris Famoso. What's up? I'm glad you found Coffee and Confessions, man. You're here, Gail Schneider. What's up? A two forty seven. That's right. Two four seven. So Gail, we're glad you're here. Destiny Children's Hope. Glad you are here. And then the last one. Yeah, Lucy Landon. Welcome to the family. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get you a word for your day. At the end of the show, we're going to confess the word of God together. That's what makes our Bible study、uh, special. It's based on confessing and mobilizing God's word in your life. Faith is voice activated. So you come in every day, and we're going to voice activate your faith. So make sure you're here every day. The word of the day comes from Psalms chapter thirty-four, verse seven. For the angel of the Lord is a guard; he surrounds and defends all who fear him.、Mm. Angels, angel of the Lord. You know, angels are such a、uh, controversial topic. Maybe it's just、yeah. such an unknown、um, topic. It's like sure, yeah, whatever. Yeah,、uh, and we had one of our kids、um, ask recently if angels are real. Yeah,、so、we got to have a conversation. So here we go. We're going to look into the reality of angels a little. Yeah,、bit. I love what this says because it says the angel of the Lord is a guard,、mm-hmm. and he surrounds and defeat defends. It reminds me of that song, Surrounded. Like. Uh, I love that song because it talks about how God surrounds us. Why be in fear when God surrounds you? And it says here, but the surrounding actually happens. Part of God's extension of His hand of protection in our lives is the fact that angels are real. It's not a chicken soup for the soul. Let's just have a nice feeling, and just it's not something that's just a, a weird eminence. It's actual, actually a being that Scripture talks about throughout, from from Genesis to Revelation. You hear about angels. They are real. Um, they are not the、uh, chubby little babies. Cupid angels. Yeah, nah, that's not.、Uh, we got some of that right here. So if you want to see, so, so this, <laughs> I need to protect them. They can't protect me. <laughs> All right, this is not how it. That that's not. So I don't know how that got out in popular society, other than the fact that I think sometimes the enemy is just trying to water down what God has put in motion. And so the world waters it down. Says, "Oh yeah, there's little angels. They're cute. They are in diapers, and you have to change them every once in a while, and make their babas for them. And they drink baba milk, and then they just kind of float around the room.、And、that's not how they are described at all in the、right. scripture. They look more like this, which is they look like a warrior, right? Right.、Uh, I'm talking about when they're described. They they look like every single time someone saw an angel, it says that they were struck by that fear." Of oh my God, I'm going to die,、mm-hmm. right? And so that's the same thing. <laughs> Why? Because they they had a, a immediately as soon as you saw them, they projected strength and confidence, Powers, power, presence. presence. Absolutely, they reflect that same because they come from the hand of God. So they're reflecting that side of God, that strength, the power, the confidence. That's who He is. And so,、um, angels are real. 
That's what we're talking about Absolutely. today. And so I, I know of a, a pastor down in uh, Texas. His name's George Pearsons. He's from Eagle Mountain Church. It's the Kenneth Copeland um, Church that he, he founded it. But George Pearsons is his son-in-law and he runs the church. And he tells a story of how his little uh, daughter was out front on a porch soaking wet and partially clothed one day when he got home. And he's like, what the heck? He runs up there, grabs her, takes her inside. And the mom just lost track of him for, for just a second. And uh, they look out back and they notice that out back, the rest of her clothes were laid just outside of their pool. This little two-year-old girl had fallen in the pool and someone somehow got her wow. without anybody being around and put her outside of the pool. Mm. Now that for me says there was an angelic visitation right there. And absolutely. some people say that it's a coincidence. That, absolutely, I mean, how many times though does things like that happen you say, oh, what a coincidence, I happened to yeah. come home at that moment, or they just happened to, <laughs> right? and it's, it's life-changing. Coincidences? Yeah. I mean, it's funny how many, when you're believing, be, but... when you're believing and when you're trusting God to protect you, protect your family, watch after your situation, whatever it is, when you're believing, how many coincidences <laughs> there that. are. Let's go, that's an awesome word, man. No, that's the truth, when you think about it. Because how many coincidences keep happening the more that you believe God, mm -hmm. right? At some point you're like, okay, this isn't coincidence anymore. Right. You say, give me the proof. Well, I don't walk by proof. I walk by faith. That's right. The faith will be proved. You mm -hmm. watch. The fruits will be there. The evidence will follow my faith, but it doesn't st I don't need to see the evidence first in order mm -hmm. to believe. Jesus says it's better Boy. if you just believe before you've seen anything because you trust the character of God. And gosh, if you just look at the world, you know that there's a God. It says the fool believes in their heart there is no God. So don't be foolish. Just don't be foolish. Don't, don't wrestle with that question. There is a God. So you, the majority of the world is not asking if there's a God. They're asking who is God. Right. So you think about it. There's a, you know, you, you have in, in, in Europe and other, na you know, some nations like that, maybe in America, Canada, a few places like that, that they're, they're wrestling with that God. Is there a God? But the rest of the world is wondering, no, we know there's a God, obviously. Which one is God? And so it's a totally different question. That's good. And so what we've got to understand and know is that there are angels, they are real, that God has a protecting shield around you and your family. And these ministers, that's what they are, they're ministers, they surround you, they defend you, they protect you. Right. I don't know how many times probably we've had moments where an angel intervened in your life and came in and pushed something out of the way, spoke something to you, did something that provided a moment of protection for you. Actually, I would love, love to hear any of your testimony of angelic uh, intervention in your life, where they, the protection of God was shown through what you, whether you saw it or didn't see it, you know it was the hand of God and you know that an angel did that. And uh, you, that's where your faith is. I'd love you to tell about that in the comments because that, that stuff's fun to share. And after, after this Sunday, I had, because um, I preached on this Sunday at Living Word Gilbert. So get to church, man, I'd love to have you. But uh, a lot of people came out and told Absolutely. us their stories of protection. There's so many stories. And sometimes we as Christians can get kind of weird about angels, about the topic of angels, um, because there is so much out there and we don't want to cross the line. You know, there, there's, you know, some people wrestle with giving angels too much credit, and that's kind of where that that mm. controversy, the controversy of it comes from, is when we attribute what God is doing, and, and we start putting the focus on angels. Yeah, that's not what Great God's point. doing here. You know, when we, like you said, they're ministering angels. So when we speak the word, He uses angels to administer. Uh, his That's word. the truth. So many times. And so when we're believing for something, don't, you know, we're talking about coincidences. When we're believing for something. How many times have you heard or even have you said, you know, I'm believing for such and such, you know, or you've personally been believing and then it happens. Then you're like, wow, that was a coincidence. Or, yeah. you know, I can't believe that that, ha well, we were believing. We were so, so don't be ashamed to attribute glory to God for what he's doing. We don't have to understand it. And he could use an angel to come in, whether it's a physical angel, you know, the Bible talks about entertaining angels, but you know, it could be a person that God sent 
as an mm -hmm. angel. It could be um, some other way that he uses it, something unseen like your story. Yeah. You know, we don't know, but however it happens, just we have to give God the glory. Give God the glory. You think about the president has Air Force One and usually Air Force One mm. is accompanied by F-16s. That's the same way that you roll, except it's better than F-16s. Awesome. You have angels surrounding you. Mm. So you got to know that today. You got to meditate on this stuff. In a, in a fearful, mm. troubled world, you've got to meditate on God's word and what it says about your protection and your family's protection. Mm. That your kids are covered, that your wife's covered, that your husband's covered, that your parents are covered. You say, well, what about what happened to old Susie over there? I know she was a Christian and look what happened to her. I don't know about Susie. I'm praying for a family. I'm there for them. However, I know what God says about me and his word. Right. And so you got to take a stand on that and cross mm -hmm. over it and say, I'm going to stop walking by sight. I'm going to walk by faith. And what faith says is that I'm protected. Uh, we've got teens that have been driving recently. And so we've had to have a lot of faith there. Uh, but God has protected them. Nothing's happened. We have kids that play sports, a lot of sports. I got two football players, a softball player, a volleyball player. They all actually played multiple sports. And I can tell you, not one major injury, really not even many minor little cuts and scrapes and bruises that have happened to them. Why? Because every day we speak over them. Because every day we thank God. And if, I think one way to Absolutely. do this is it, it's already happening when you're in faith. But when you have the thought of fear, just replace the thought of fear with the thought of faith. Maybe by Thanksgiving mm -hmm. that you say, Lord, thank you. That instead of meditating on what the fearful thought was, just stop and say, God, I thank you that your angel encamps round about surrounds and defends mm. me and my family, my kids right now. Instead of the vision of seeing them crash in a car, you see, no, Lord, I thank you that even if the trouble tries to find them, you're going to protect them through that situation. Absolutely. A thousand can fall to the left and 10,000 to the right, but it's not coming near me. Amen. Amen. Let's say these confessions together. All right. There are no co coincidences in my home. My family is protected by God Almighty and his angels. Let's say it together. There are no coincidences in my home. My family is protected by God Almighty and His angels. Praise God. The angel of the Lord surrounds and defends me, my family, and all concerning me. Let's all say it with conviction. The angel of the Lord surrounds and defends me, my family, and all concerning me. Let's go. Double high five. Yeah. Praise God. Hey, shout out down low. You're a new subscriber. We'd love to shout you out uh, next week. And get down to church, right? The LW Absolutely. Church Challenge is going on. That means 12 weeks, you and your family, you come to church every week. Get the word just ooh, deep down in you. You get connected to the vine. Absolutely. Like, subscribe, and comment below. We love you. We'll have see you tomorrow. Yeah, have a great week.